Hi, I'm Phyllis and my website is southernfrugal.com. Today we're going to make some chow chow coleslaw. This is not going to be made with green tomatoes either. This is going to be made with cabbage, onions, bell pepper, carrot, and celery. So first thing we've got to do is get our uh, liquid made. So I've already got my pot on the stove. And so what we're going to need, two cups of water, one cup of apple cider vinegar, one cup of sugar, just regular plain sugar, and we're going to need one teaspoon of salt. There, I couldn't find a spoon, teaspoon. All right, one teaspoon of salt. Now I've got my burner up on high. We want to bring this to a boil and uh, let all that uh, sugar dissolve. Now any little black speck you see is from the salt. That's the Himalayan pink salt. Just stirring that to get that sugar dissolved a little bit. So we're going to let that come to a boil. Now, while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and shred up the cabbage. So I'm going to move y'all over to the other side. Hold on. All right, so what we've got here is a large uh, head of cabbage. And what I'm going to do is actually chop this using the Vitamix. Now, you can certainly use a blender for this, or you can also use a food processor. So I'm just, I've got it about half full of water, or a little better. It's going to take about probably three turns of this to get it all chopped up. So now, what I'm going to do is turn it on and get it up on high. And the second, I mean second, it, you hear the motor slow down, I'm going to stop it. All right, so here we go. Well, let me plug it in. Now we're ready. All right. So I'll hear it slow down. So now we're going to drain this. And uh, one of the uh, viewers that wrote in said to use galls in with the uh, little strainer. And so I don't have any galls claw. So I'm using one of those. Uh, sack cloths to uh, drain it, but I'm going to drain the biggest part over the sink first. So hold on, we'll be back when all this is ground up. All right, I have got my cabbage all ground up, and if I had to guess, I would say this is about four cups. And thanks to the person who recommended using the gauze cloth, now I didn't have any gauze cloth, so I used one of these uh, flour sack towels from Walmart. And I do think that saved me some time and effort. So now we're going to go ahead and dump some stuff into this little sauce, we'll call it. And again, this is uh, apple cider vinegar, water, sugar, and salt. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dump this in. I did have to cut it down. It was totally boiling. So let me see if I can dump this in all in one time without making too much of a mess. Actually, why don't I dump it in my bowl? Yeah, I dumped it in the bowl first because I've got too much to towel here, really. Yeah, there we go. I'd say that's definitely about four cups. All right, now we can put it in. Let me get a spoon here. It's just barely at the boiling point. Turn it up just a touch. So we're just going to cook this for just till it comes back to a boil. So it's going to take a little while, but now you can make this by chopping everything by hand with no problem. You can make it by using your food processor. 
and you can make it using a blender. It's just very easy. You just need to chop it all up. And again, this stuff will keep for about two weeks in your refrigerator. Now for us, it never lasts two weeks, I can tell you. It's usually gone in three or four days. It goes well with everything. It would be great serving as a, a side dish during the holidays. And I have never seen anyone who didn't like it, y'all. Everyone usually just loves it. All right, so now we've got all that in. Oh, there's a big piece of cabbage. So now we're going to add the other ingredients. Yeah, I've got cabbage all over my hands. All right, so this is about three stalks of celery. And I did, wait a minute, let me cut this down because I don't want it boiling yet. And again, I, I used the inner part of the celery since that's what I had, leaves and everything. And I chopped everything using the Vidalia Chop Wizard. And I used the smaller little squares to go in there. All right, and let me just say a word about this. Let me take this off the burner. All right. Uh, Someone wrote in and said there were some bad reviews on this on Amazon because people said it they broke. Well, y'all, they're made out of plastic. If you try to force something through here, something really hard, like a whole carrot or even half a carrot, you are going to break it. Now, I've used mine for it's well over four years now, and I have chopped all kinds of stuff in it, but you need to make sure that you don't chop something like rutabagas or, or sweet potatoes that are too thick. You can chop them if they're thin and make the little squares, but anyway, that's my take on that. So all my stuff was chopped in the Vidalia Chop Wizard. So back to the celery. This is the inner part of the celery, leaves and everything, and I just sliced the celery pretty thin and then chopped it. So we're going to dump that in, and that's probably let me guess and say about a cup and a half of celery. This is one bell pepper, again chopped really fine. One sort of medium carrot. Again, I julienned the strips and then put them in the chop wizard to get these little squares. Now some people put spices in like nutmeg, almost like pickling spices. I don't really do that, but uh, I, I know people do that. All right, so this is one medium onion, also chopped. I sliced it first and then put it in the chop wizard and chopped that. But again, I, I have definitely made this when I used my food processor for the uh, vegetables. And I've, all, I've made this, let's see, 1970. My uh, sister-in-law is the one who introduced me to this, and I thought it was delicious. Now, she just called it chow chow, and it did not have any green tomatoes in it, none at all. I think she just had cabbage, onions, and peppers in hers. I like the little carrots there to give it color. And she also used more water in hers. Now, what I'm going to do is simply put this in the refrigerator after it cools off. And it's really kind of like refrigerator pickles, if you want to know the truth. That's really what it's like. So all we're going to do now is just let this slightly come to a boil. Just slightly. And then we're going to cut the burner off and let it cool. All right, y'all. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, we just let it barely, barely come back to a boil. And uh, now I'm going to move it off the burner and let it cool right much on the stove. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and we'll be eating on it until it's gone. Now let me say this, it goes well with any meal. I mean, it goes well with chicken, it goes well with fish, of course. It goes really well with any kind of roast, uh, pork or beef beef stew, anything as a side dish. 
and it goes really, really well with meals uh, for the holidays. Really, really well. Now, if it were the holidays, I would use red bell pepper. And then you've got the uh, green bell pepper. I'd sort of mix them together and you've got the orange in there. And it, this is a uh, sort of a sweet and sour taste, but it's really, really good. All right, so this is just my version, y'all. They do call this chow chow slaw. If you're gonna just make chow chow, I think in the South mostly they use the green tomatoes. And uh, I just, I really like this a lot. So again, there it is. So y'all will be seeing it on some of the meals I make over the next probably week and a half. I would doubt that it would last much longer than that because once I fix it, we eat it with everything. So, all right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.